So my name is Mo Heng Ong, or you can call me Harry Ong. So I specialize in neuro-ophthalmology, which is a specialty, subspecialty of neurology and ophthalmology. And I work at the Michelle and Shannon Wong Eye Institute. The patient population that I see are uh, most uh, anybody above uh, age 12 with uh, visual symptoms that are due to neuro potentially due to neurological diseases. The disease ranges from, it could be from vision loss, so it could be from due to vision loss either due to strokes or multiple sclerosis, you probably heard about optic neuritis, to all the way to pupillary asymmetry that's caused by neurological diseases or eye movement abnormality that causing, uh, cause double visions for patients, so I, I treat from what they call afferent visual function to all the way to efferent visual functions. The reason why I picked my specialty is one is it's it's a specialty that really allows me to see the wide breadth of uh, sort of disease pathology in the realm of um, neurology that really have a focus on the visions. So it's really allowed me to see uh, different types of uh, etiology for causes for causing vision loss. So I'm really fascinated by that. And I'm also very intrigued by the, how my exams and history taking can really help me find where the size of the dysfunction is and hopefully find a sort of a diagnosis and treatment for the patient. My personal approach to patient care is sort of this is a sheer a relationship. So I really like to discuss with the patient what my thought process are and what potential steps are we doing so that actually it's a sort of a mutual relationship where we can have a form decision together for, for their patient care and also management so that this is actually a, a mutual relationship so that we make the decision together and then I would like to guide them as we go along with my recommendations. So I think the involvement is really important is because so that they understand the disease so they know what the impact of the disease is so they can actually make the appropriate sort of um, decisions and also lifestyle changes if that's involved and also so that they know what is urgency or what is needed so they can actually seek the appropriate sort of next step so that we, we can minimize either the you know, recurrence of the disease or prevent future recurrence. It really started from when I was young so my dad is actually a physician so seeing him interacting with the patients really inspired me to become a doctor and as I grew up I was really fascinated by how the human physiology works and at the end of the day sort of able to see that smile on the patient's face really drives me to become a doctor.